What's happening, Nick Parkin, it's the Keto Dad here, and today I made a chaffle pizza, or a pizza chaffle style. It's keto friendly, it's delicious, super simple. Check this one out, because you're gonna love it. Okay, this recipe is so simple, and it's delicious. It's my favorite kind. First thing that we're gonna do is crack an egg, and we're gonna do a basically like a cheese and egg, oh gosh. I got an eggshell in there, not good. That egg did not want to crack. You ever have one of those eggs where they just don't come apart? And I think I have three eggshells in here. Stand by while I clean out my egg. Okay, my egg's all clean, no shell in it. I mean, it happens to me too, guys, it happens to me. I'm gonna beat this up a little bit. Now I'm gonna take some mozzarella cheese, about between about a third and a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And before I mix this in, I'm gonna take some pizza seasoning. Now, if you don't have pizza seasoning, don't worry, just use a little bit of basil and oregano. This gives it, or it's some Italian seasoning, this gives it that nice pizza flavor, which is oh so delicious. So you're gonna to wanna to stir this in together. Okay, and after it's stirred together, we're gonna to use our little dash. Now, if you have the waffle maker, you can just use the waffle maker. This is the griddle one, which works great for this. You don't have to use the griddle, you can definitely use the waffle maker. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the bottom just to crisp it up a little bit. Um, you don't have to do this, however, I've found that it does uh, help with the flavor and it also just helps with the overall consistency. Then we're gonna pour our egg mixture on here. Oh, this is gonna be good. And then we're gonna close this sucker up. Okay. My pizza crust is done. This one rose a little bit, but it will definitely deflate. Look at that. I mean, doesn't that look delicious? We're gonna let this cool down for just a sec, and then we're gonna top it, and then we're actually gonna put it back into the dash. Now the fun begins. We get to top the pizza however you like. I've got some Rayo's pizza sauce that I'm gonna put on here. All right, now I'm gonna use a little bit of Colby Jack cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you'd like for your pizza. I'm gonna get my cheese all over this guy. And then I'm gonna use just your good old basic pepperoni. Gotta load it up. And I'm gonna put like just a little bit of cheese on top. Now here's what's fun. You could either throw this in the oven if you wanted or a toaster oven, or you can just put it right back in your good old dash or your good old waffle maker and close the lid. Let it melt up that cheese and melt up those toppings. All right, it just came out and I'm super excited to eat this. It's gonna be delicious. Let me pull it off of here. I mean, look at that. Okay, now for the moment of truth, the question is, how does it actually taste? Is it good? Let's see. Oh, got a little cheese hanging there. Hang on, hang on. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, the crust is delicious. Toppings are great. This is one of those like pizza bagels or pizzas on a uh, English muffin or anything like that. It's delicious, it's like a deep dish. I love it, one of my new faves. It's like a go-to lunch for us around here and it's super simple to make. So with that, have an awesome day. Remember, keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it keto. We'll talk to you soon.